Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfet. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, where they reviewed a number of local affairs aimed at intensifying national development efforts. His Majesty expressed pride in the efforts exerted by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in serving the homeland across all fields. He also praised the distinguished participation of Bahraini teams in the Japanese Olympics which reflected their keenness on representing their country in international events. His Majesty wished them luck in future regional and international tournaments. His Majesty also commended Japan's outstanding organization of this international event. He also hailed the relentless efforts of Bahrainis in all fields and their leading achievements which promote the name of the kingdom globally. His Majesty reviewed with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister the latest regional and international developments, expressing the kingdom wishes of stability concerning the internal affairs of Afghanistan with the participation of all parties in addition to supporting the relief efforts along with international partners based on the kingdom's keenness on instilling the values of solidarity as a model to be emulated. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa at Sakhir Palace the Foreign Affairs Minister of Oman Badr bin Hamad bin Hamoud Al Busaidi on the occasion of his visit to the Kingdom to participate in the seventh session of the Joint Ministerial Committee between Bahrain and Oman. He conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings and appreciation of the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Said, and his wishes of progress and prosperity to the kingdom. His Majesty affirmed his pride in the fraternal historic relations between Bahrain and Oman, which are based on strong foundations of cooperation and coordination at all levels. His Majesty welcomed the guest and asked him to convey his greetings to the Sultan of Oman and his wishes of further progress and development to its people. He hailed the major role of Sultan Haytham in developing bilateral relations and the developmental achievements that the Sultanate witness led by His Majesty. His Majesty noted the high level that Bahraini Omani relations reached, which are becoming stronger as a result of the joint keenness on developing them. His Majesty commended the results of the joint Bahraini Omani Ministerial Committee meeting, which will bolster cooperation and integration in various political, economic, commercial, and cultural fields, serving joint interests on achieving the two peoples' aspirations. The two sides discussed regional developments of common interest. For his part, the Armani Foreign Affairs Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for the warm welcome and generous hospitality and pride in His Majesty's efforts to strengthen fraternal ties between Bahrain and Oman. He asserted that Bahraini Armani relations are distinguished by growth and development and received the support of the two countries' leaderships to bolster cooperation and serve joint interests. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met remotely with the sixth intake of the Prime Minister's Fellowship Program. He stressed the importance of investing in the Kingdom's national workforce to further enhance creativity, competitiveness and excellence across various government work teams. His Royal Highness highlighted that Bahraini citizens' determination has supported the Kingdom's development efforts led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted that His Majesty's directives continue to guide the efforts of Bahraini citizens towards achieving the kingdom's development goals. His Royal Highness went on to commend the fellow's responsibility, performance and continuous passion throughout the year-long program. He highlighted the quality of the projects that were submitted and their effective outputs which reflected the skills and experience gained and the efforts made by the members of the sixth intake despite the challenges of the coronavirus pandemic. He wished them continued success with the same determination and passion as part of the Team Bahrain that always puts the interest of the country and its citizens above all else. His Royal Highness noted that the experience that they gained will provide them with skills that they can bring back to the workplace. He further praised the efforts of those running the program and their relentless pursuit to create development opportunities, provide the program with best practices and develop it in line with the requirements to achieving the Kingdom's development goals. For their part, the members of the sixth intake 
express their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his commitment to investing in government employees. The members pledged to His Royal Highness that they would continue to work hard and faithfully for Bahrain as their affiliation with the program helped them to develop skills and reinvigorate their determination to achieve for the kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Azana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that Paris FC team New Victories assert the players' keenness on exerting efforts to win the title of the League Two. He hailed the team's victory against Quivelli during the sixth week of the league. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed keenness on supporting the team and pride in the presence of the kingdom's name at the French League. He wished the team success in its next match against Queen. Map. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met today with the Omani Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sayyid Badr bin Hamad bin Ahmoud al Busaidi, as part of his official visit to the Kingdom to lead the Omani delegation in the 7th Joint Bahraini Omani Ministerial Committee meeting. During the meeting, the two sides reviewed the deep rooted bilateral relations and their continuous development under the reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq of Oman. They also reviewed means of bolstering the future relations as well as cooperation and coordination in various fields to achieve the common interests of the two countries and their people. The two sides also reviewed the regional developments and challenges and the efforts exerted to ensure stability, security, development and prosperity. Regional and international developments of common interest were also discussed. From the Bahraini side, the meeting was attended by the Ministry's Under Secretary for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Ambassador of the Kingdom to Oman, Dr. Jamal. Ahmed Al Kabi, the Executive Director of the Institute of Diplomacy, Ambassador Dr. Sheikh Amnira bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Head of the GCC Affairs Sector, Ambassador Abdul Aziz Mohammed Al Eid. From the Omani side, the Dean of the Diplomatic Corps, Oman's Ambassador to the Kingdom, Abdullah bin Rashid bin Ali Al Mdelwi, and the delegation accompanying the Foreign Affairs Minister attended the meeting. The seventh session of the Joint Bahraini Omani Ministerial Committee meeting was held today, chaired by the Foreign Affairs Minister Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani and his Omani counterpart Badr bin Hamad Al Busaidi. Dr. Zayani delivered a speech in which he welcomed his Omani counterparts and the accompanying delegation, expressing the kingdom's pride in the deep rooted fraternal relations with Oman, which are based on solid pillars as a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the Sultan of. Man, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq al Said, and their keenness on bolstering relations in all fields. Dr. Zayani expressed pleasure in holding the joint Bahraini Omani meeting to bolster bilateral cooperation. He expressed the hope that the joint committee will undertake the task of activating the agreements and memorandums of understanding that had been signed. For his part, the Omani Foreign Affairs Minister expressed pleasure in visiting Bahrain to chair the meeting, noting that it comes in implementation of the directives of the Sultan of Oman and His Majesty King Hamad to organize joint efforts and bolster cooperation in various fields. Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA President Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, opened the Kingdom's Pavilion at the 17th International Ag Architectural Biennial, uh, Biennial Architecture 2021 in Venice, Italy. Themed in Muharraq, the pavilion reflects Bahrain's urban development efforts and the reviving of the cultural memory of the city, integrating projects to preserve historical buildings and modern items in line with the originality of its urban features. In a statement on this occasion, BACA president stressed keenness on taking part in International Architectural Biennale in Venice, Italy for the sixth time in a row despite challenges resulting from the World Health Crisis. She stressed the importance of Mahara, the iconic city with all its cultural and historical heritage, ancient capital of Bahrain, the Pearl Trade Center in the Arabian Gulf Regional and the cultural beacon that contributed to shaping the region culturally. In 2010, the Kingdom's Pavilion won the Golden Lion Award and Bahrain's participation in the exhibition in its 15th edition won the award for the most beautiful book from the Office of the Swiss Federation of Culture. The team in charge of Bahrain's Pavilion includes engineer Noura Sayed, heritage consultant Ghassan Shimali and BAC engineering team.
The Ministry of Foreign Affairs strongly condemns the launch of an explosive laden drone by the terrorist Houthi militia towards the city of Khamis Mshayt in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, targeting civilians and civilian facilities in violation of international humanitarian law, praising the vigilance of the Saudi Air Defense Forces, which were able to intercept and destroy the aircraft. In a statement, the Ministry of Affairs affirms the Kingdom of Bahrain's full support for the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia against everything that targets its security, safety, and stability, stressing the need for the international community to assume its responsibilities in condemning these terrorist attacks carried out by the Houthi militia against Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, the national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,142,176 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,085,079 had taken the second, and 249,761 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. And the Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 952 with 139 recoveries and 98 registered new cases. 27 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 57 are contacts of active cases and 14 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.